it's 7 a.m. on Friday, September 29th, 2017, as Lorup, Ephraim oceanographic research vessel, sets out from the port of Toulon for a two-week expedition with the Ariane submarine robot, three pilots, five scientists, and eight sailors on board. Ariane will allow scientists to track cold water corals and the attacks they are subject to. Taking on board the equipment needed to explore a Mediterranean underwater canyon. Arrival at the zone for the launching of Ariane is scheduled for 10 a.m. In the Mediterranean Sea, the marine area below 200 meters makes up about 80% of its total area. All knowledge of these depths is still limited. However, scientists have highlighted the importance of the transfer zones between coastal areas and the deep basins of the Mediterranean via these submarine canyons. The targeted canyon is a large and deep scar in the continental shelf, located just a few kilometers from the coast. The coral in question is a structural species that, thanks to its rigid skeleton, forms a three-dimensional relief. It serves as shelter for many species that come to seek refuge in these hiding places in order to reproduce, shelter, or feed. These ecosystems display exuberant biodiversity which is why they have received so much attention. The coral is formed of a network of polyps. These are similar to small anemones that capture their prey with their tentacles. These corals live in deep, cold waters devoid of light. In the western basin of the Mediterranean Sea, they are found between 200 and 1,000 meters below the surface. At this depth, the temperature of the water oscillates around 14 degrees Celsius all year round. On board, at the controls, the pilots and scientists guide the robot. It is equipped with sensors that allow it to detect obstacles that could be potentially dangerous. Today, the goal is to carefully film an entire relief covered with coral and its associated fauna. This operation requires great dexterity on the pilot's part to guide Ariane on this rugged site. The dive will last five to six hours on the bottom and will cover one-fifth of the site. The submarine cameras will photograph every square centimeter. All the images are then assembled to reconstruct the area in three dimensions. This allows scientists to have a global view of the site to map all species populations. These mappings, carried out at regular intervals, will make it possible to measure the evolution of the site over time. During the expedition, scientists will also attempt to measure the extent of coral distribution throughout the canyon. The capacity of this robot 
opens access to particularly rugged areas. Sometimes, unexpected landscapes emerge. The robot's pilots are often hindered by lost fishing gear on the seabed. Many remains of ropes and long lines can be seen in the coral colonies. When fishing gear impacts the coral, rigid skeleton colonies are broken and fall to the ground. This is dramatic for deep sea species that grow very slowly. Cold water corals, for example, grow only half a centimeter per year. Industrial discharges from the coast are also a source of degradation. In this case, the only surviving corals are those that grow in the naturally sheltered areas. The establishment of marine protected areas off the coast enables the protection of deep ecosystems by regulating fishing and industrial discharges especially. At the Mediterranean scale, the distribution of cold water corals is not fully explored and is still being discovered during each exploration campaign. Scientific samples will make it possible to carry out genetic analyses in order to understand the genetic links between the populations of the different sites. The biodiversity associated with these corals is exceptional, and a whole range of species lives in these habitats. The setting up in 2008 of a European Directive for Marine Strategy, the MSFD, requires each member state by 2020 to obtain or maintain good environmental status in the marine environment, including in the deep sea. 